Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick heads up that if you have found yourself unable to send emails with attachments using Outlook.com, then just to let you know that Microsoft on the 6th of November issued an advisory over on their support website that some users may not be able to send emails that contain attachments using Outlook.com mailbox. Now, at this stage, we don't know if the Outlook app is affected. They don't make any mention of that, just Outlook.com. So that's the web version of Outlook. And just wanted to let you know in case you were affected by this issue. Now, Microsoft in this advisory has not given any indication when this problem is going to be solved. But um, they have said that until they fix the problem, they have issued a temporary workaround that you can try and which I'll just show you quickly in this video in case you are affected until they release a permanent fix for this issue. Now, what you need to do if you are unable to send emails with attachments is you need to head obviously to your email and then you need to choose reply forward or create a new email message or calendar event. So that's the first thing you need to do. Then the second thing you need to do is you need to, once you've selected one of those options, I'm just going to use forward, you need to head up to and click on and select attach. And then if the file is already in your OneDrive, then obviously you head over to OneDrive and you attach the file using OneDrive. And if the file is not in OneDrive, then you can choose upload and share. So you click upload and share and that's where you can upload and share that um, file from your local drive or local computer as another example. And then the third thing is you can pick the item or items to attach and select share link. And then the fourth thing Microsoft says you can also use copy link of an office or OneDrive file or paste it into your email. So there's a couple of things you can try if you are unable to send emails with attachments. And I'm going to keep a close eye on this one. And then obviously, um, if Microsoft does give us any more info or issues a workaround, obviously, I'll post ASAP and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.